Now onto the associated camera chain equipment. Right here, you've got your power supply unit, abbreviated as PSU. And then you've got your, all your um, power controls on the front and your voltmeter. At the back you got your power sockets and that looks to be an air vent. I presume there's probably a fan in there to blow out the heat. And this here is a is the camera's camera control unit. The CCU. So down below you've got all your camera adjustment controls you know, for your, your picture adjustments and you know such as brightness contrast, focus, etc. etc. Got more adjustments here. And you and this here is your monitor display to, to display the pictures, but also but also um, displays the um, waveform for you know for other adjustments not so sure yet probably have to go back to the manual and read more about it here you've got the tail light um, which I accidentally broke off because I attempted to pick this thing up by the tally light not looking at it mistaking it as a knob as a metal knob so that's the uh, broken off tally light on air light I think it is can't remember what that light there is for here you got the Marconi badge reading off these adjustments the top panel there you've got calibrate waveform waveform brightness you got your sync and drive switch, picture contrast, field hold, picture brightness, picture focus. Down below here, go along the top row, you got your mix viewfinder on, channel, <coughs> channel available, multi-focus, line shading, image focus, target, Again, call camera switch button. Um, down below, you got your black level adjust, your beam, uh, beam focus, field shading, talk back. Sure, what this one does. I read up on that one. You got, I'm not sure what CTB stands for. You know, and then you got yeah, your smaller adjust adjustment wheels for the white clipper, a line X, a line Y, um, sync amp, and you've got a you got a switch here which says decrease, increase is probably for the light. And you got a switch in there, which I'm um, not sure what it is yet. At the back here. Yeah, it's a bit dark. Um, yeah, you got your you got your sockets, your plug sockets. You got your driving and blanking plug, remote control plug, or socket, shall I say? But yeah, viewfinder socket, 
you know, Vision Out Soccer, which which you know, you output video to to you know, a video tape recorder or some form broadcast machine. Probably can even hook it up to to a standard VHS video recorder and record whatever comes off the camera. You got your massive socket here, which is your camera in socket, which you know, which comes straight from the camera head. The cable is pretty damn thick and uses, I counted about 36 pins. Down here, you got your sink out and your sink in communication socket. Auxiliary power socket, gain and lift socket, and power socket. Going back to the power supply unit, might as well just describe some of the controls here. Got utility out, spare. Focus, current adjust, um, meter selector, rotary switch, adjust mains for voltage, sorry, adjust for mains voltage switch, output volts, your yeah, voltmeter, utility outlet, fuse, and loads of for the mains fuses as well I think and yeah, the sockets on the back you've got your utility outlet mains input power outputs and going back to the camera head where's it we got some of these other adjustments. So yeah, you got your cable length selector, which uh, uses a a jumper from one socket to another. Get your scan on your line scan reverse, and you got your normal and over scan switch. I certainly know what that does. Um, you get your field scan normal and reverse. You get your fuses again. Down below here, um, yeah, you got your headset socket for headphones. Uh, TBPS, not sure what that stands for. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what it stands for. Um, I have to do a little bit of research on those. Um, what else do we have? Let's see if I can open this panel up here. Closes it up. So yeah, there you have it, a nearly complete Marconi Mark III image Orphicon tube camera chain from around the late 1950s. This is going to be a massive, massive restoration job for me, and yeah, I'm so looking forward to to all the work that's involved. It's going to be a lot of fun. Cannot say when I'll be I'll successfully get this whole camera chain working. Might be within a year, probably a few years. It's just a matter of um, yeah, gaining the technical know-how and 
finding the necessary parts needed for this. Otherwise, I've got you know I've got um, ideas to substitute if the parts are hopelessly not available. But yeah, it is a restoration job I plan to do and I plan to succeed in. First things first is to clean it out. Got my toothbrush here, got me foot pump blower to blow the dust away. That's what I'll be first doing. And the rest will follow on for that from there. There's a lot of cosmetic work to be done. Got to paint it up. And um, yeah, it's got a few dings and bangs there, which, yeah, is probably fixable. Just have to come up with some ideas. So yeah, I'm so happy to have this camera. It's it's the first of the broadcast grade that I now have in my collection. Now I'm totally cheering over it. Anyways, on with the restoration.